Would you like to drive it? Sure. Be there soon. Fuck me. It is awesome. So I hear. Turn it into a goddamn rocket ship. I know. All ready to go? Hey, V. No, not yet. Carol still needs to check if Militech left any ice in the systems. Corpos haven't shown up in person to report the loss? No, I think we managed to keep them off our scent. We left the trucks with the big Corpo logos down by the Raffin camp. Which was almost as much fun as leaving a bag of flaming dog shit on their doorstep. Fuck, made it look like it just came back from a Corpo War tour. Nice touch. Everything's fine. Clean as a whistle. And so, what about him? Nothing, for now. We're staying out of each other's hair. So he's not planning a family council? Of course he is. He just wants to keep me in the dark a while longer. Always wanted to take one of these suckers for a spin. Which is exactly how all those naive gonks landed at the front. Didn't even need to be recruited. They just showed you the tech. Come on, hop in. Everything is set. Let's fire her up. Hold on to your head. Damn it. Got a bad feeling about this. Everything is dandy. Give me a moment.
It's not the latest model, but Mitch and Bob did what they could. What do you think? Well, at least now I know why people call them coffins. You steer directly from your seat. All you have to do is jack in. What, no knobs, buttons, blinky doodads? No, none. The impulse runs directly to your cerebral cortex. In a sense, the basilisk becomes an extension of your body. It's like a mystical oneness. Oh, if it's so mystical and shit, why the co-pilot? Extra support? I'll tell you once we're a bit further from camp. We'll practice. Okay. If you want full functionality in an engagement, you need a second person to handle sensory overload. One pilot steers, the other handles the gun. It's oddly pleasant. You'll see. Okay. This will do fine. A dry run first. I'll disconnect for now. Doesn't need two pilots? You won't be steering and firing. Are you ready? Pan Am? Is this, uh, as designed? Neural synchronization doesn't happen at the snap of one's fingers. It'll be over. to understand what you meant. Warm up. Don't worry, I'm not gonna watch. Just put it through a few turns. Soft, right? Same as a boat. Hmm? Right over any bumps. All types of terrain. Head towards that wreck. see you've grown bored. Now take her along the line of turbines. When I say so, swerve right or left before the last of them. All right. the way to do it. What's on the menu? Don't get excited. The Basilisk is a cargo ship by design. But it should still be a good time. All right, blast those wrecks. Now I'm going to connect. It could feel strange. Meaning, 
Basilisk pilots have to be fully synchronized. That means our nervous systems will be linked. Okay. It's as if you booked a room with two beds, but got a double bed with a blanket wide enough for half. Okay, let's try this. Guess I'll get to know you better than I'd planned. All right. Let me just say, it can be difficult at first. You'll experience feedback, sensory echoes as our systems overlap. Probably comes naturally in combat. Mm-hmm. Right. Starting now. on his or her own must think first and foremost of what's good for the family. Come on, Saul. If I have to leave the clan, please just say so. Spare me another speech of yours at the very least. I'm afraid you'll have to sit through a few more. Because from this day forward, you will lead this family by my side. I will what? I wish to do this properly. But fine, have it your way. I was wrong. You were right. That's the truth. May it never happen again. But I, I, I made a mess of so many things. You said- I know, but I changed my mind. You risked everything for this family, not even knowing whether you'd be welcome the next day. Okay, okay. Well, I, many things will have to change. Yes, and to start with, we need to leave this place. Quickly. We can't wait for Militech to find us. Of course. I will prepare our route. Congratulations. Terrible choice. I voted nay. Thank you. Thanks. I need to cool down, I think. Will you come with me? An interesting day. I feel as if I barely evaded a rapidly approaching train. It's pretty close. I don't know if I could have done it without you. <laughs> Come on. No, I'm serious. We all owe you. So you can count on the Alta Caldas. Always. Good to know. Nobody's behind the bar. That I like. Beer? Lemonade? Beer me. To happy endings.
Gonna miss our little escapades. Me too. On the other hand, though, who said this one was our last? V, look around. Look at them. They could be your family. Panem, what do you... Stay in camp. Join us. I'd love to, Pan Am. I really would. Mm-hmm. Here comes that damned butt. What? I can't. Not right now. Have to finish some things first. All right, V. I shouldn't drop bombs like that on you right now. I just thought... Eh, forget about it. I'll think it over. I V? I... V, relax. Everything is okay. How do you feel? What happened? I remember I... We were talking, then suddenly... You passed out. Completely. We took you with us. Where? Somewhere new. We moved camp. Don't worry, we are safe here. For now. You ain't dying yet. V, you have to tell me what is happening. The blood. You were out for hours. What's wrong? Pan Am, I... It's getting worse. Every single day. Okay, V. Relax. Take it bit by bit. What is happening, exactly? You know, Johnny Silverhand? Yes, they sometimes play those oldies on the radio. Why? That's just it. Johnny's alive. He's sitting in my head. He's what? Am, am I not? Is this some sort of strange metaphor? Now, Silverhand's construct is busy wreaking havoc in my head. Impossible. It's not... It's simply impossible. Johnny Silverhand? Listen, did you try, you know, talking to someone about this? I could tell my therapist a lot of things, but this isn't one of them. Construct's more like a cancer growing every day. You are not joking. Just trying to live with it. Survive, actually. It's certainly not doing wonders for your health. I gotta go. Feeling better. Really. Wait. I will go with you. I thought I heard that voice. Hey, Mitch. Finally. We were worried. Took good care of your ride. She's over there. But you're not leaving us already, are you? Is everything okay? Thanks. I'll stick around for a bit. Make yourself at home. Remember, our offer still stands. You. And that, at least, we can agree on. If you need anything, you know where to find us. Want me to walk with you? Marhaba.
I know this area. Back from the old roots. You're really safe here, though? For now, yes. Militech does not venture this far. And our vantage points really are much better. Everything to here. The land of the living. It is temporary. Time sleeping All of it. Decided to join us. We will soon have to decide Stay what there. comes next. V. Back to what we were saying. I will not even pretend to understand. I don't think it has even sunk in yet. But. I am serious. How can I help? Honestly, not a clue. But there has to be something. Someone who can... Remember Hellman? He's the one who created the personality construct tech. That's why you wanted to get him. But it was a dead end. Now I have to figure out where to go next. You'll find a way. And once you do, let me know. I will help. This whole family will help. Saul was not joking. You understand? Thanks, Pena. Sometimes I think about staying here a while longer. But then a city dweller happens upon us, and I reconsider. You, Pen Am, and the cowboy. Now, that sounds like a story I want to hear. Wouldn't call it a story so much as just another episode of what happens to folk traveling on the road. Gonna spill or not? Me and Pan Am were hauling cargo from San Francisco to Kansas for one of these so-called cowboys. That's what we called the owners of those huge sin meat farms. Kansas was riddled with them operations, but Pan Am never seen one. So we get there, we unload the cargo, some valves for boilers, doesn't matter. Stench in the air is unbearable. Pan Am's face is green. She's practically gagging. Then the owner struts over to us, cowboy hat in hand, about to say howdy, when Pan Am... No. Pan Am drenches his boots with that day's lunch. I thought that was it, that we were screwed. But you know what the cowboy said? No need to bow, I'll just take a handshake. No wonder Pan Am instantly knew what you meant back at the AV. Staying in California much longer? We need to work. Preferably the more lucrative kind. No better place than Night City in that regard. But the nature of biz here is such that sooner or later you'll step on some bigwig's pinky toes. So we'll see how it goes. Let's get back to the matter at hand, shall we?
What's up? 